Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. I am your friend Arman. So today in this video, I am going to discuss about 2020's prelims question paper of the grade 3 Assam Judicial Service 2020. So guys, here is the question paper in my hand. So in this video, I am going to give you the answers from question number 1 to question number 100. All the questions all the questions of the Assam Judicial Service 2020. So please watch this video till the end. But before I begin, please subscribe to my channel, hit the, press the bell icon, hit the like button if you like this video. And do not forget to share this video with your friends because you know, khushi aam baatne se badhti hai, na? To isi liye, aap log is video ko dekhiye last tak and do subscribe to my channel. Do subscribe, fir se bol raha hu. Because baatein karte karte jada hogi, theek hai? To please subscribe kijiyega and thoda sa you know, achhe se dekh dijiye last tak, theek hai? So guys, uh, here is the question paper. This, this video is going to be a little long. So, but please watch this video till the end. I'll be giving answers of all the questions uh, in this video. So question number one is India's second private train is. So second private train was uh, Ahmedabad Mumbai Tejas Express. Okay. And question number two is the metal whose salts are sensitive to the light is silver the, sil the salt silver are sensitive to the lights okay now the question number three is which of the following is not a nuclear power center so out of them which is not the nuclear power center this is the question is asking here okay so the answer will be chimera because chimera is the river dam and rest of the three like narora tarapur karakapar all these are nuclear power center okay then the question number four is the term uh, sorry the team of india consulate has defeated which team in diplomat cup cricket uh, championship 2020 in dubai to lift the cup so the answer will be here is question number sorry option number a pakistan the pakistan consulate okay now the question number five is hello india youth games 2020 was held in i think it is i think everyone knows knows about it so it is held in Guwahati. okay and the federation cup question number six federation cup world cup and alvin international trophy are awarded to winners of so in which game the alvin international trophy is awarded this is the question and the answer is volleyball okay that that is option number d volleyball okay now the question number seven is deepika padukan was honored with the annual crystal award at world economic forum 2020 in davos switzerland for her contribution in spreading awareness about so on which field the deepika padukan was awarded uh, annual crystal award in the wef 2020 so she was awarded for uh, creating the awareness in the field of mental health okay the answer so answer will be option a mental health now the question number eight is vedas are divided into so the options are like Shruti, Smriti, Samhitas and none of this. So the answer will be Samhitas. Okay. Vedas are divided into Samhitas. Okay. Now the question number 9 is Siseri River Breeze is in which district? Okay. So the answer will be East Sisang district. Okay. Answer, num uh, answer option A will be the answer. East Sisang district. Now the question number 10 is Dekya uh, Hua Bornamgar House the lamp which has never been turned off since so uh, here's here the question is asking the thekya hua namghar where there is a one lamp which is being lit uh, in the past and that has been you know burning since its inception so the when it is started so it is started in uh, 1461 okay that is option number a and question number 11 is the last king of Ahom king in Assam. So obviously option B Purandar Singha. Okay. And the question number 12 is Roger Penrose was awarded Nobel Prize in Physics 2020. So the answer will be option number B for the discovery that black hole formation is a robust prediction of the general theory of relativity okay now the question number 13 uh, which is which of the following is not the principal organ of the un organization so out of them which is not the principal organ of the united nation organization okay so the answer is human right commission option d because trusteeship council economic and social social council international court of justice 
general assembly so all these are the part of the i mean organs of the un, UN organization but uh, human right commission is not the part of the un organization okay now the question number 14 is uh, which of the following mountain ranges separates Europe from Asia? So which mountain range which separate Europe from Asia? The answer will be Ural Mountains C. Okay, the C will be the answer. And question number 15 and this is the reasoning question. A spaceship, rickshaw, tractor and dash and cycle. So which of the following words best fits in the blank? So the answer will be Lancer. Okay, because Lancer is also a vehicle and uh, question number 16 and this is also a reasoning question complete the sequence a air area audio uh, abstemious and the answer will be b okay automation and uh, the question number 17 to 18 read the following information carefully and choose the most appropriate option if uh, in a joint family a b c d e and f are the members b is the son of c and a and c are the husband of wife, husband and wife c is not the mother of b e is not the brother is the brother of c d is the daughter of a and f is the brother of b so this is a reasoning question and which of the following is the pair of a female in the family so guys uh if you see the question question you know in detail you will be able to answer this question because this question is really easy and uh, so the answer will be uh, for 17 it will be a that is a d and for 18 it will be c okay that is a and uh, question number 19 which of the following statements are false okay So we have to find out which of the following statement is false. So the answer will be C. Okay, the original constitution had ten schedules. This is this is the false statement. Okay, and question number twenty, which is uh, which of the following is not matched correctly? So, so we have to find out which is which is not matched correctly. So article fourteen to eighteen that is correct right to equality and right against exploitation. Uh, 20 and 22 and right to religious freedom article 25 to 28 right to cultural and educational freedom 29 to 30 so if you see okay i think you are acquainted with it that article 20 and 22 deals with the right of the arrested person okay so there is we have got uh double geo party and all these kind of principles are there so the it is not correctly match okay so option number b will be the answer and question number 21 uh, asking which of the following articles cannot be suspended during national emergency so we have to find out which is not uh, like suspended during national emergency i think this question is really familiar with all the aspirants because we have uh, like studied this question uh, in our llb blb times also so the answer will be c okay article 20 and 21 okay right to life and personal liberty article 21 and article 20 that is uh, relating to the arrested person right of arrested person and article uh, sorry question number 22 is under which article parliament has exclusive power to make laws with respect to the goods and services taxes where the supply of good or of services or both takes place in the course of the interstate trade or commerce this question is a little tough because uh, we haven't studied this question uh, we haven't noticed this question in our llb days so it is little tough so the answer will be c okay article 246a will be the answer okay so moving ahead with the question number 23 by which constitutional amendment act right to property cease to be the fun cease to be a fundamental right so uh, as we know that the fund uh, sorry right to property earlier it used to be our fundamental right but it has been you know uh, amended once the constitution was amended and this art uh, this uh this right right to property was uh, made the constitutional right in you know it was shifted from the fundamental right to the constitutional constitutional right so which amendment has done it so the answer is 44th amendment act 1978 okay and op option c 
Now the question number 24 that is reservation of the seat for SCs and STs in the Lok Sabha and the state assembly is extended by so uh, which amendment has extended these seats okay reservation of the seats so the answer will be uh, D okay option D the 104th amendment act 2019 okay then uh, question number 25 we have article uh, under article 32 a writ petition can be made to the supreme court by a person who himself has suffered only under which of the following a relative or friend of a person aggrieved can file a writ petition so uh, this question is really important and we have been reading this article in our LLB days very rigorously so I think you all people are you know aware of the reads of the article 32 and 226 right so like habeas corpus mandamus covarento like that so so this question is asking that uh, under which of the following the relative friend or a person a group can file a red petition okay your next friend can file a petition for you okay if you are detained then your friend can file a red petition so under which read so that will be obviously habeas corpus Bhim Singh versus state of Jammu and Kashmir this is a famous case relating to the habeas corpus case okay now the question number 26 is the right guaranteed under article 32 can be suspended so the question is asking by whom the article 32 can be suspended okay the, so the answer will be d okay so during the proclamation of the emergency article 32 can be suspended only article 20 and 21 remain in operation uh, during emergency also okay but uh, rest of the you know uh, Uh, rest of the uh, fundamental right will suspend be suspended okay article 32 is also our fundamental right right to constitutional remedy okay so i think you all are aware of it from article 12 to 35 we have uh, fundamental rights okay now uh, question number 27 the motive under section 81 ipc should be so the question is asking uh, motive is defined under IPC section 81 should be uh, the motive should be what of article sorry of section 81 this is the IPC question the answer will be uh, either A or B okay so it may be for prevention of harm to the person or prevention of harm to the property okay so the answer will be C option C and the question number 28 a knowing that some property was in possession of deceased b at the time of his death and it has not since been in the possession of any person legally entitled to or this a dishonestly misappropriates it and it is dealt under so the answer will be 404 ipc that means option b section 404 of ipc okay and question number 29 that is asking defense of consent applied to okay so the answer will be private wrongs okay that is option a okay then the question number 30 we have uh, which of the following is false of section 34 and 49 149 ipc so the answer will be a okay section 34 ipc requires at least five person who must share the common intention while section 149 ipc requires at least two person to share the common intention so the option a will be the correct answer of question number 30 okay then the question number 31 we have what is the minimum term of punishment under section 376 ipc okay 376 uh, that is uh, i think dealing with the rape okay so the answer will be 10 years option d 10 years okay now the question number 32 is which of the following does not amount to the criminal conspiracy so uh, the answer will be d okay mere agreement to pay bribe to the public servant so this will be the answer and question number 33 we have uh, where an offense is punishable with imprisonment as well as fine the term of which the court can direct the offender to be imprisoned in default of payment of fine shall be exceed shall not exceed uh, 
its answer will be uh, B okay one fourth of the term of imprisonment which is the maximum fixed for the offense okay then the question number 34 under the provision of code of criminal procedure 1973 cognizance can be taken of so the answer will be B offense okay and uh, section uh, sorry question number 35 in rape cases under which provision of CRPC the investigating officer can collect DNA sample from the body of the accused and the victim okay so the answer will be B okay section 53 a and 164 B sorry 164 a the so option B is the correct answer and uh, question number 36 is which of the following statement is not true under section 164 IPC okay so option A is magistrate can record the statement of a person who independently approached him option B magistrate can record statement only of a person produced by the police or the investigating agencies option C statement of the accused may also be recommended by audio video electronic means in the presence of the advocate of the accused and option D the accused should not be sent back to the police custody as soon as the confession is recorded so the correct answer here will be option A okay magistrate can record the statement of a person who independently approached him so this is the this is the only uh, wrong statement here okay now the question number 37 that is asking the order of compensation under section 250 of CRPC can be made by whom okay the correct answer will be B okay option B when there is no reasonable ground for making the accusation okay now the question number 38 bar of taking cognizance of an offense under section 344 IPC after lapse of period of limitation so the answer will be C 3 years okay then the question number 39 no appeals lies in the PT cases as per the provision of answer will be uh, option B 376 CRPC okay then the question number 40 we have which of the following is not true under section 31 of CRPC so the answer will be D okay both A and B then the question number 41 is which of the following statement is not true regarding the charge sheet made under the provision of the criminal procedure act 1973 so the correct answer will be B okay after submission of the charge sheet there cannot be any further investigation in to the case by the police okay this is this statement is not correct okay so the option B is the correct answer of question number 41 okay then we have the question number 42 uh, when case is withdrawn by the customer of a bank from automatic teller machine the contract is so this is this is the contract law paper question so when a person you know take out the money from the ATM then the contract will be what so the such contract will be termed as tacit contract okay option a will be the correct answer okay then we have a uh, section question number 43 that is when a party to a contract fails to perform a contract within the fixed time okay so the correct answer will be C okay such contract becomes voidable at the option of the promise promise if the intention of the party was that time should be of essence of the contract okay so the option C will be the correct answer of question number 43 okay then question number 44 we have unlawful detaining or threatening to detain any property to the prejudice of any person making him to the enter into an agreement amount to coercion okay option a will be the correct answer and question number 45 we have an agreement uh, an agent's authority can be created so the answer will be uh, d either expressly or impliedly okay then question number 46 airs uh, as per which provision of CPC and plaintiff a plaintiff may bring a fresh suit or court may restore the suit of suit to file after dismissal of the suit under rule 2 or 3 of order 9 CPC okay the question is really tough 
okay so guys if you are preparing for it then you have to be very very careful and you cannot skip any section or order or anything of any act okay you have to be very careful with all the sections okay you cannot skip so question number 46 so answer will be b okay order 9 rule 4 then uh, question number 47 a degree holder who is a degree holder so the question is asking so question number 47 the answer will be uh, need not to be the party to the suit okay a and answer a will be the correct answer because it is not necessary that the party should be the uh, sorry uh, it is not necessary the degree holder should be the party to the suit okay so option a is the correct answer of question number 47 now the question number 48 is asking the court may at any stage of the proceeding order to struck out or amend any matter in pleading as per the provision of okay so the answer will be uh, option a okay order 6 rule 16 cpc okay now the question number 49 counterclaim by defendant so in which order it is defined so the answer will be uh, a order 8 rule 6 a okay then uh, question number 50 no attachment under a precept shall continue for more than uh, how many months so the answer will be option b two months okay then uh, question number 51 we have a decree against government can be executed if it remains unsatisfied for a period of so the answer will be three months okay option b then uh, question number 52 uh, is asking uh, in a suit a preliminary decree can be passed so the answer will be all of the above okay for the petition and separate position for the account between the principal and agent for the dissolution of partnership so in all cases uh, in a preliminary suit decree can be passed okay then uh, question number 53 we have a uh, transposition of defendant as plaintiffs may be permitted as per the provision of the correct answer is option a okay order 23 rule 1 uh, a of cpc okay then uh, question number 54 we have a lease is made for a certain period in the deed it is mentioned that the lease can be terminated before the expiration of the case without mentioning of whose option in such a situation who can opt for termination of the lease so the answer will be b okay lessee only and uh, question number 55 which of the following is correct so the correct answer will be uh, option d none of these none of the above okay now the question number 56 at what rate default interest is payable under section 6363a of the transfer of property act 1882 so the correct answer is nine percent per annum okay so guys uh, our next question is question number 57 where the mortgage is illegal for want of registration but the mortgagee continue in possession of the mortgage property a valid mortgage come into existence after the expiry of 12 years okay option b is the correct answer then question number 58 uh, where several co-owner of immovable property transfer a share therein without specifying that the transfer is to be is to take effect on any particular share or shares of the transfer the transfer as among such transferor takes effect on such shares so the answer will be option a okay equally where the uh, equally where the share are equal and where they are unequal or proportionately to the extent of such shares okay then we have question number 59 which of the following is nearest to meaning of the phrase english mortgage as defined by the transfer of property act 1882 so the meaning of the english mortgage that we have to need, that we need to find out out of the uh, four options so the correct answer will be option b where there are two sales made one at the start of mortgage with condition that after the mortgage amount is paid back the property will be sold back okay 
now the question number 60 it is a taught uh, taught low question uh, the which words are appeared dash are words which appear innocent but have a latent defamatory meaning so it is fair the answer is option c innuendo okay so innuendo is the words are the words which appear appear at the you know prime fc it appears as innocent but have a latent defamatory meaning you will find this line in uh, rk bangya's law of dot book okay and question number 61 assault and nuisance are the answer is wrong under both okay it is it is a wrong under both civil sorry to, in tort law also or is in in criminal law also okay so both option d and uh, question number 62 the standard of care generally used in case of negligence is the option will be sorry answer will be option d okay skill and foresight of an ordinary person of prudence and competence then the question number 63 we have unliquidated damages means uh, i think you, you guys know the answer it so the answer is option d damage to be assessed by a court as these are not predetermined okay and lastly the question number 64 that is uh, when the master is held liable for the wrongful of his servant the liability is called 64 okay the question number 64 the answer will be option b vicarious liability okay and uh, question number 65 we have the act of unlawfully entering into the another's property constitute obviously it is a trespass okay question option a okay then guys uh, we have the now english question paper english general english so question number 66 uh, we have to find out that uh, choose the word which is uh, not nearly which is the which is most nearly the opposite in the meaning of the bold words for the given option from the given option so we have to find out the, the bold letter the you know the letters which the words which are written in the bold form so we have to find out the opposite meaning of it okay so ambiguity i think um, all of you are aware of the word ambiguity okay ambiguous we have been hearing it from the very beginning of our studies right so the ambiguity which means not clear okay so the option will be lucidity okay option a okay then uh, we have question number 67 uh, impalable okay so the, the opposite meaning of the impalable will be tangible okay and question number 68 we have uh, perennial okay the answer will be rare okay d and question number 69 we have endemic i think uh, you guys are aware of it pandemic coronavirus pandemic and all that so uh, pandemic is a worldwide and uh, endemic is a you know endemic is covered in a, a small area okay a small area when it when affected by a particular virus or something dis disorder or diseases so so it it may be called as an endemic okay so the opposite word will be obviously universal if the option like uh, you know the you know aspirin might have got got, con, got confused because uh there is if the option in options if the uh word is given like pandemic then obviously the student would have chosen pandemic only that's why so here in place of uh pandemic it is here is given universal okay so now uh the next question uh that is uh direction for question number 70 to 73 is choose the word which is most nearly the same in the meaning so you think we have to find out the synonyms okay so consume it so the answer will be one of zenth of perfection okay answer a option a and dialectic so the dialectic means also argumentative so the answer will be option a argumentative okay and 72 charlatan charlatan means a person who claims to be a you know qualified doctor but he is not a doctor like uh, in hindi we may call it like neem hakim kind of person okay so the answer will be quack okay quack is also a synonym of charlatan okay or you can say a fake doctor and question number 73 we have aberration so the correct uh, <coughs> synonym will be deviation okay 
now the direction for question number 74 to 77 choose the exact meaning of the idioms and phrase so we have to find out the meaning of the idioms and phrase here so alpha and omega so i think you guys are acquainted with this uh, phrase that is uh, alpha and omega so it means like the beginning and the end okay b option b and question number 75 the terrain cats and dog so the answer will be to rain heavily option b okay then question number 76 to clip one swing okay so here the answer will be option d to deprive one of power okay and to pick holes so the answer will be i mean question number 77 to pick holes the answer will be to criticize someone okay option d then we have uh so question number 78 in case accused has taken a plea of alibi 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 means uh, masquerading okay like uh, hindi mein bole to bahana theek hai so guys and uh, the option will be uh, sorry answer will be of 78 is b burden of proof is on accused okay then uh, section 79 we have under the provision of the indian evidence act 1872 for an admission to the to be considered as substantive evidence so the correct answer will be uh, <coughs> option d that is need to be writing and question number 80 uh, we have uh, a creditor invited the debtor to make a proposal for paying the debt the debtor's agent wrote letter to the creditor acknowledging the debt and offering to pay smaller amount the creditor both brought proceedings for recovery of the debt and relied on the letter to defeat the defense of limitation the letters the answer will be option d okay the letters will be admissible as evidence and protection of section 23 of the indian evidence act 1872 will not apply okay then question number 81 we have under the provision of the indian evidence and the confession okay uh, option b answer will be option b must be either be accepted as a whole or rejected as a whole okay so the option b will be the correct answer of question number 81 then question number 82 for dying declaration to be reliable so the answer will be uh, option option d okay option d yes uh, it need not be corroborated so the option d will be the correct answer of question number 82 then we have question number 83 which of the following are admissible under section 27 of the indian evidence act 1872 so guys uh, the answer the correct answer will be option b recovery of articles buried at the public road as lead by the accused okay so option number b is the correct answer of question number 83 then we have question number 84 that is generally which of the following statement are not true okay so the answer is c a decision of the civil court is not binding on the criminal proceeding so this is the false state false statement okay then question number 85 we have the fact in issue and relevant facts must be proved by evidence either oral or documentary which of the following situations facts will be exception to this rule okay the correct answer will be c general customs of the land okay then guys question number 86 we have uh, section 85 of the indian evidence act deals with the uh, obviously option c admitted facts need not be proved okay then uh, question number 87 that is law of evidence is lex fori i think you guys are very well versed with this question and uh, with this question because in the evidence book uh, but if you are if you are reading but book then obviously you will find this word lex fori in the very initial pages of the book only okay and then question number 88 we have oh god this dog is barking a lot sorry for the impudence guys okay so question number 88 after which are necessary facts which are necessary to explain or introduce relevant facts of place name date relationship and identity of parties are relevant so the correct answer will be option b 
under section 9 of the evidence act okay then question number 89 uh, section 14 of the evidence act makes relevant the facts which shows the existence of so the the correct answer will be option c either state of mind or body or bodily feeling okay so option c is the correct answer of section sorry question number 89 okay then the question number 90 we have in which of the following cases will the evidence not be regarded as hearsay okay so the option answer will be option d okay the testimony of person who saw the compatible condition of a young woman in her in-laws home where she met her death okay so guys now uh, we have uh, assembly section so here question, question number 1991 that is asking Toladya Habda so we have to find out uh, which word is uh, the I mean the which spelling is incorrect okay so the option will be a Konistha so here it is written Konistha but the correct spelling will be Konistha okay then uh, question number 92 basi uliwa. okay we have to find out the wrong statement here I mean sentence here so the correct answer will be option a okay a kitab khan mur ki kamat lagibo so this will be the uh, wrong statement here so this is the correct answer okay because the question is asking the bucket to basi ulia guys we see we have to read the question question paper very carefully because the question is not asking the find the true and the correct answer generally like we have the like mindset in our mindset informed in that way like uh, whatever the question comes we think like that we have we only have to find out the wrong statement but here it is uh, sorry right statement but here it is asking the wrong statement so that is why uh, please be attentive to the questions while you are answering okay every question is very imp like you have to read the question very carefully okay otherwise bohat badi galtiya ho jayengi and aapke marks cutengi theek hai and uh, question number 23 hai Talar kuntu khabdar biparit khabdar bhulke diya ase So we have to find out uh, which is the like uh, which words opposite word is uh, false okay So janak janani datal mahundi I think datal means hati okay Elephant And mahundi is female elephant Hikhyok and hikhika And jet peha and jet hai so the so the correct answer will be c okay hikhyok and hikhaitri will be the oh, perfect opposite word there is no word called hikhika in assamese okay then guys question number 94 we have kitab ki lingo so we have to find out the what is the gender of a book okay so since the book is not a, like a female or female so that's why it is a kleba lingo okay option c is the correct answer of question number 94 then question number 95 we have uh, eta khabdat prakash kara adur bhabishate hua akha nai okay eta khabdat prakash kara which means like we have to uh, you know summarize this sentence in one word okay so the correct answer will be option number a khudur paharot okay then my question number 96 we have athai khagor or ortho ki so what is the meaning of athai khagor so the answer will be Dangor Bipot option A. Okay. Then question number 97 we have Talat Diya Sorokhandhir Kuntu Akhudda. So which is which is not correct, which is incorrect here. We have to find out. So the correct answer will be B. Okay. Ho plus sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the correct answer will be A. Okay. Laura plus Lee equal to Laura Lee. So option A is the correct answer of question number 97. Then uh, we have question number 98. basi uliwa. Okay, so we have to find out the correct uh, you know synonym. Okay, pratikhabda means synonym. So oxygen and amlojan that is the like perfect synonym. Okay, so option A is the correct answer of question number 98. And question number 99 we have bikhesya pad basi uliwa. So we have to find out the bikhesya pad. Okay, so the correct answer will be option a onkha okay then the last question of this paper is for yadi khabdatur ortha ki so this is a very relevant question because for yadi for yadi and asami like we get uh, in the every petition right every comp uh, every plaint so the correct answer will be b gusharya okay the person who 
you know files a petition or who complaint or prosecution site is known as gusoria in assamese so guys this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching this video till the end so if you want the pdf of this uh, question paper then i will give my instagram handle in the description of this video so you dm me there and i will give you the pdf of this video along with the answer guys so thank you so much once again for watching this video please like this video and if you have not sub subscribed to my channel please subscribe it and do share this video with your friend and i'll be glad if you have any qu queries questions or if you want the question paper discussion like this further also then do let me know in the comment section uh, i'll be glad to help you out and if you have any confusion doubt or like if you want me to make video regarding the assam judicial service grade 3 then i will make the video do let me know in the comment section or you can dm me on my instagram handle that i will give in the description box so guys thank you so much once again for watching this video have a great day guys.